Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and assorted nerds of all genders, welcome back to Night City. My name is AvaFan, and patch 1.5 is finally out. Um, this is a big deal because obviously Project CD Red have not released any new updates for this game for a little while now. Um, and finally, the patch 1.5 and next generation consoles version is now out. Uh, it's literally live today, so we will be firing this game up in just a moment to take a look at that. Um, but this also means that now players who have the PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series X can enjoy the true version of this game rather than a emulated, upscaled version of the last gen version. Like, look, look at these patch notes. There is a lot of patch notes to go through here, guys. Um, updates to ray tracing. Yeah, that's cool. Next gen exclusives. I guess, yeah, these bits here are all next gen exclusives. So some new race tracing, some new performance modes. Uh, impl implemented use of adaptive triggers for PS5. Cool. New apartments. So you can now purchase uh, new properties. Um, so one in the city center, uh, one in Northside, one in Japantown. You can also... Um, you can also modify the apartment. Let's see some interactions. Take shower applies refresh status. Okay, okay, so showering's good. Rest it. Wow. This this actually makes the game look a lot more lived in if you get bonuses for sleeping, showering, and actually like having coffee. This is cool. I like this. You can now customize your characters post character creation. This has been one of the things that a lot of people really felt that um, the game should have included at launch, and it didn't. But we can now do that um, without requiring mods. Um, obviously, this patch is probably uh, breaks a lot of mods. Um, I know it's broken at least one of the mods on my playthrough at the moment, um, which is my hairstyle. But you know, we'll we'll worry about that. Some new guns available at Wilson's. Uh, some new photo modes. Enhanced AI uh, for combat. Uh, improved crowd. Improved driving. I think this is going to be something that a lot of people are going to be super excited about. Um, lots of gameplay changes. Um... You can now sell um, spare cyberware, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, there is just some uh, updates to quick hacking. You can now turn devices on and off while carrying a body. So this means you can actually like carry somebody and go into uh, an elevator, that's cool. Uh, bonus items, so we've got some new jackets and stuff. Also, um, this will update some of the bonus stuff you got um, with uh, signing in for a GOG account. They've scaled back how ridiculously tough the, um, the boxing matches are, so they're now not so stupidly OP. Um... Genuinely, the, the last fight, because I have tried it, the last fight in that is actually tougher than some of the genuine boss fights in the game. Fixed NPC behavior during... Oh, cool. Slight change to some of the boss fights as well. That's going to be cool. Um, so... Lots of updates to the perk tree. This is actually going to mean that when you launch the game, you're going to find that all of your perks have been reassigned. Uh, some UI changes. You know what? Rather than going through this 
ever, ever continuing list of changes. Let's actually fire the game up. Let's let's get back in to Night City. So uh, this took about an hour to download, but this update is obviously live on Steam now. And we're immediately treated to funky new graphics. I like this. This is the new cover art for the new release version. So we have uh, a kind of a rear shot of female V. Uh, there's some bonus updates on the CD Projekt Store, blah, blah, blah. Let's actually get into the game. We get a little flash there. I'm not going to bother showing you guys the intro movies, because as far as I can tell, they haven't changed. Okay, so the intro movies haven't changed. Um, now, because I've already fired it up, um, I'm not going to get the notification here, but if we go into additional content, look at this. We have partners, uh, new appearance stuff, weapons, new muscle brakes, okay. A new gun, another new gun, and some new posing stuff from Johnny. Welcome also, to Info like, Flash. This Say, loading screen looks like they've thinking? changed it slightly. Yeah, when the lights went out there, I was cooking dinner. Because I'm sure the oh, angle that it was looking at that came to town was slightly cushion. different last time. Yeah, week. yeah, I know I shouldn't have. Anyway. After all, I was my way of staff. I forgot to check this. The, key, the cords don't automatically connect now, so I need to check what the key is for that. Because apparently you can now um, ignore hollow calls, which is kind of cool. Okay, I don't, I don't quite know what this Look at this, they've changed the map. It looks a little bit different, so we have... The icons have changed out. In ju just in general, the map looks a little bit nicer. Oh, so we can filter jobs, service points. Okay, that's kind of cool. So, yeah, if you know where all of the the data terms and the joy toys are, we can turn it off. We are going to go to a ripper dock in just a moment, I think, because I want to see what I can sell back. Um, <laughs> yeah, so my hairstyle has changed. Um, but yes, Black Unicorn is now, instead of being a rare weapon, is now a legendary. Um, my, my pistol is a legendary. Yeah, there's, there's just a lot of cool things. My shoes... My shoes have been unequipped. Apparently, I need the Grease Monkey perk. Um, I do, however, have a whole bunch of perks that I need to reassign. 69! Can I get a nice in chat? Okay. Let's see.
I've just realised this is now called ninjutsu rather than stealth. That's interesting. Lots of little icons and stuff that have changed. This is all very, very cool. should be able to equip my shoes now. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so we got new guns available from there. moment the only apartment I have is oh, I have this one and then I have one in the uh, in the camp also my 
car is there? Apartments for rent. Let's go and check out. Uh, let's go and check out this apartment. Um, <laughs> They've kind of broken some of the, um, the pictures of the vehicles. Okay, that's kind of funny. Yeah, there's always going to be some new stuff. Let's get Jackie's. Oh yeah, I forgot. The, the bike has access to the stash. No station icons changed. Let's uh, let's go with this one. So I have a custom radio station in here. Um, I have a bunch of them, but this one is just uh, reorganizing some of the songs that exist in the game. Other. I can reject a call. Huh. You, you rise are fucked up, man. Huh. <laughs> Rough night. On this little China chill, Loud Boya just slotted some earplugs in its night night. It's not bad. I have been stuck in some model skull, or I don't know, a fucking landscape architect. What is it now, Johnny? Being dr what a fucking shit style. Wasn't slumming it in squats like your whole thing? Sure, when I was scared out beyond all recognition. Oh, I seem to have inadvertently come across. The Oh, well, well. Secret doors. How cliche. Why do peeps have to be so goddamn predictable?
Must be connected to those doors. Or a shitter flushing somewhere. Who knows? Looks like Leo went to the Tiger Claws. Behind Waco's back. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Claws aren't the deal honoring type. Let's see if she got lucky. Suspicious activity. So yeah, you can you can change everything there. Um, okay. whiskey. That's cool. A slightly different arrangement to um, the one in V's original apartment. Yeah.
awesome. Say it ain't so, I'm chipping in. Do still do that weird lying on our side. go and see what the other apartments look like. I think we should. Still don't offer us anywhere to live in Pacifica. Let's go and have a look at the apartment in the Glen. supposed to be some new slide jumps as well, so, you know, I think this, this update really kind of shows the potential that Cyberpunk has. <laughs> so we're gonna, we're gonna rent an apartment right in the middle of Valentino's territory. As opposed to being right in the middle of the Tiger Claws territory. There's a fast travel right now, so far. Um, Project CD Red really kind of not just wanted to fix bugs, but have started wanting to make the world feel more fleshed out, I think is very cool. I'm genuinely, uh, I mean, I'm biased because I like this game and I've already played a good, like, Oh, oh, I, I literally just walked straight into, oh, this is, this is very cool. This, this is definitely like if you want, oh, can we, we can play some billiards. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, let's drink some, oh, I wanted to drink that.
Oh yeah, that's one of the mods I've got. Um, I modified some of the posters, so we have a, a Ghost in the Shell poster. Can, oh, I can't punch my punch bag. That's kind of a shame. Oh, I can. I have a coffee machine. I can brew a coffee. This is... This is genuinely cool. Fish? We got fish? This is very cool. Maybe a bit of a rough neighbor. Let's. There's no guitar. So, yeah, obviously, different things seem to offer you different stuff to do. Um, and again, we have. Oh, yeah. Read carefully or your head will explode. Uh, we don't care about that. Where is the next apartment that we can purchase? It's gonna... Ooh! Corpo Plaza! Let's have a look. Corpo Plaza is gonna be... Uh, I'm expecting posh things in Corpo Plaza. Um, well, I think that's the most expensive of these new apartments, but we'll find out. Yeah, so... Obviously, I've got my XP bonus for sleeping. I've got like a bonus for my coffee. It's just a bunch of stuff. You know what? Let's quick travel because feeling kind of lazy. I oh, we'll just just do that. <laughs> Allows me to drink a cup of tea whilst I uh. Fast travel. Okay. Okay. But I want to lead the mission myself. Yeah. It'll be better that way, trust me. Uh huh. Like, I'm planning on doing another Corpo playthrough. I've already done. Uh, I've already done one of each. This is my fourth playthrough in the game, so. It's my second playthrough. As a street kid. Um, but I've got plans for a corp. I want to do a, like a, a corpo playthrough where I play a pure network. This is fancy. This is... Yeah. Oh, 
proper tea ceremony etiquette as well. Very nice. I wasn't even meaning to click on that. I mean, there are mods that add in custom things. Messy bed, though, don't like that. But... Oh, wow, we got a fancy looking bathroom. A proper walk in wardrobe. apartments because that's cool. Oh. Super cheap apartment in the north side in Maelstrom territory. Let's take a look at that. This is, yeah, I, I like this a lot. It just, it feels like we might get the RPG element this game back. Um, I mean, I know this is never going to be... You will sit uh, there until you finish. What don't you understand? Don't interrupt me. Sounds very much like Wakako. Again, we'll just do a quick fast travel because... Ah! apartment's going to be where we rescued Cheetah from. Of course it is. Um, if you remember, this is one of the earlier missions in the game. Yeah, this is... Th yeah, this is like your... If you really want the, the low tier... I really like the fact that these new apartments all have very distinctive. <laughs> I love the fact that this is clearly like we've remodeled, like we smashed a hole in the wall to add this in. This is... Oh, I can't play the arcade machine. That's, that's a shame. So I can... It doesn't seem like I can do a lot here. I can, like, obviously, like, adjust my periods. Do I even have the ability to, like, make a coffee here? Yeah, this is a very basic apartment, but I like the vibe of it. I like the fact, you know, it fits with that. This really feels like you could lean into the lifestyles more. I think that is all of the new properties. Yeah, I don't think there's anything new in the Badlands. Oh, that's cool, though. That's very cool. Um, apparently we can customise um, the H10 apartment though, so let's take a look at that. 
So we've got a couple of things we're going to do in the H10 building. Uh, we are going to go and see Wilson and we're going to try and customize our uh, original apartment. And then that'll probably be it for this review. Oh! That's the, like the writing on our katanas. Let's see, what have you got for us? Oh, he's got a sale sign on now. Wow, Wilson. Let's see, what have you got? You know, I kind of thought you'd have more Wilson. Not going to lie. We'll just we'll just sell you the shit we don't want. New gun owner, I hope. Now I have a mod. This doesn't appear to have broken the mod I had installed. That's cool. Oh yeah, also have custom, more custom boosters. Uh, there's our cat. Why can I not pet the cat? It just makes me sad. This is nice. This is very nice. Still need to tidy up my bucket slice and stuff, but... Okay, so the makeovers aren't uh, a whole lot to write home about, but that's cool, you know. By far the the renting new places and for me like uh, Corpo Plaza and the Glen were awesome. Although Japantown we were able to play a guitar, so yeah, that's that's what's new with with Night City. I don't know what if any effect they will have on the. The other apartment. Maybe they'll add, hopefully they'll add more purchasable options and more customizationable options here, but don't know when and how we'll get um, the new guns. I'll, I'll probably do some more videos um, as I discover more things, but all in all, I think that um, a lot of people are going to be pretty excited by the changes that have been brought in with this update. Um, I guess I will speak to you all again soon, and until then, Stay nerdy.